It's mostly rock and sand and it measures fewer than five square miles. But on this stony ground, lingering hopes for peace might be dashed. Israel has vowed to extend Jewish settlements here to punish the Palestinians for their victory at the United Nations. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu insists he's defending his nation's strategic interests. Some in his right-wing coalition had urged him to go even further. Well, you will call it uh, annexing or the West Bank. I will call it applying sovereignty over the Jewish community in Judea and Samaria. William Hay calls it deplorable. Today, Britain summoned the Israeli ambassador and told him bluntly, back down. Rarely has so much diplomatic fury been expended over such a small stretch of dusty hillside. But there are many who believe that if Israel carries out its threat to build here, it would render impossible a future Palestinian state that's worthy of the name. The land lies between East Jerusalem and an existing Jewish settlement at Ma'ale Adumim. It's territory occupied by Israel but earmarked for a Palestinian state. Israel's plans to build 3,000 homes here would slice through the West Bank and sever the Palestinian connection with Jerusalem. The, our future is in this area if we want to develop Jerusalem. Because this man maps the growth of Israeli settlements for the Palestinian Authority. If the Israelis build here, does it kill the idea of a Palestinian state? Yes, because uh, Israel, if they build in this area, they cut it for three bases, south, middle and north. Tonight, Israeli officials signalled there'd be no retreat, even under pressure from allies. Fresh conflict seems built in. John Ray, ITV News in the West Bank.